Hello, my beautiful darling loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, I do have a Virgo and Cancer only channel. So if you would like to check those out, the links are below. Um, readings can be vice versa, my love. So flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Um, if the reading resonates, great. And if it does not, it's simply not your story. Please keep in mind that readings can be future predictive, though. They don't always resonate in the moment. Um, when leaving comments, please try to show sympathy and kindness for anyone going through a hard time. This is a place of healing, not judging people. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? I do not take personal readings. So any phone numbers that you see in the comment section is not me. If any one friend requests you or reaches out to you, it is also not me. If you need a personal reading, a reader that I can recommend is Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. The link to book with her is in the description box below. Okay. All right, my loves, let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about... Virgo. Uh, oh, Virgo. No, Leo. <laughs> Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What messages do we have here today for Leo? Okay, we've got the Hermit and we've got the Queen of Cups. We could be dealing with a Virgo. We could be dealing... It's funny I said Virgo and Virgo was the first card that came out. We could be dealing with a Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We've got the Page of Wands and the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Holy crap, uh, Leo. Okay, so under the deck, we've got the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Moon card. Okay, so Leo, here's the deal. Now, I don't know if this, I feel like this is your side, but it can be your person's side. What we have here is somebody that is trying to figure out how to tell somebody it's over. OK, um, now the thing is, is the person that they're telling this to is a queen of cups energy. So this is someone that could be very sweet, kind, loving, you know what I'm saying? Giving um, this person could be unsuspecting or you may just know that this person loves you. But with the page of wands and the ten of wands in the reverse, this is an energy of listen, I want to let this go. I'm not in love with you anymore with that. That eight of cups energy doesn't always just mean walking away physically. It could mean that, you know, you have fallen in love, mourned the, con uh, excuse me, fallen out of love, mourned the connection. You're just not feeling it anymore. Um, you might be staying in the connection, but the love is gone. The love is gone. And with that five of pentacles energy, there's an energy here of, listen, I really just want to go. Um, I feel like somebody has been staying with their person, um, maybe out of obligation, maybe out of pity, maybe because you feel bad, you know, but this is an energy of, you know, with the nine of cups and the knight of wands, I really want to go do whatever I want to do. You know, I, I, whether it's go be with other people, whether it's go travel, do whatever, there's an energy of, I just want to make, wake up in the morning and be happy and go pursue my own interests. Um, but with the moon card here, this is an energy of somebody keeping their feelings a secret. You know what I'm saying? They're keeping their feelings a secret here, Leo. So I don't know if this is your person planning this conversation with you or you are, pl are planning this conversation with someone else. Um, now, this could be an energy that somebody has already found somebody, uh, you know, somebody else that they want to pursue or maybe with that Knight of Wands energy and that Nine of Cups, this person could be cheating already behind someone's back. It is possible. It is possible. Tell me about that hermit and the ace of swords. Somebody is thinking about how do I tell this person the truth? Queen of cups and the six of swords. You know, I deserve better. You deserve better than being with somebody that, you know, doesn't want to be with you. You know, that doesn't want to be with you. We have the five of wands and the page of wands. This is going to spark an argument. I'm not going to lie. This, this is not going to be an easy conversation. Tell me about this 10 of wands in the reverse and the ace of cups. Yeah, I, I feel like what we have here is somebody has fallen in love with somebody else. And with the five of cups and the seven of swords, they feel bad lying. 
they feel bad lying, Leo. Okay, so you know, you may not be physically cheating. Let's just say this is you, Leo, and you're planning to break up with somebody. Even if you're not having sex with someone else, you may be crushing on somebody else. Um, there's definitely some type of cheating happening here, whether it's sexual or whether it's emotional, okay? Like it's like somebody has their eye on somebody else. They're not in love with their person anymore. Um, it's a relation, it's like an empty shell. The relationship is an empty shell. And I feel like we're staying in the connection here because because you know that your person loves you or cares about you but there's a sense of guilt like man I don't I feel bad because this person loves me but they deserve to be loved in return so I have to be honest and I I have to you know even though it's gonna suck nine of swords and the five of pentacles even if it's gonna suck even if I feel bad leaving this person behind but they deserve better and so do I you know there's no point in keeping a relationship going um that's fake you know this is a, a fake relationship okay tell me about leo please sun moon rising venus we've got the world card and the ten of swords so leo i mean i gotta keep it real with you even this person even the you know even the person on this side uh even if there's love there this person knows that this connection ended a long time ago they know that this connection ended a long time ago. We've got the Two of Swords and we've got the King of Cups, okay? So we do have a King to the Queen of Cups. We have a true pair here. Um, but, you know, I'm sure you've heard it said multiple times now, Leo. It's a soul tie connection. It's a true pair. But sometimes soulmates come into our lives to teach us a lesson. They're not our forever person. And with that world card... I feel like the lesson was learned a long time ago and you've been holding on to this connection or they've been holding on to this connection. Um, you know, it's like holding on to something that is dead, you know, holding on to something that is dead. Tell me about Leo, please. We, uh, there we go. You see, Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. This has been going on for a long time. This person has not wanted to let go. This is This is somebody that just doesn't want to let go. They don't want to, whether it's dead or whether it's alive, this person doesn't want to let go. Ten of Wands here for Leo. We've got the death card. Yeah, see? Scorpio energy. Um, this is This connection died a long time ago. This connection was over a long, long time ago. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Wands and the Tower. It, it's not going to make it any easier, though. When this conversation happens, this person's world is going to fall apart, even though they know it, Leo. It's not like this person doesn't know it. Now, Leo, I don't know where you stand, honey. I don't know where you stand, my loves. You could be the person that knows that you're in a connection that is completely dead. But still, this conversation of, you know, I'm leaving is going to like your world's going to fall apart. Do you understand? It's just like, you know, maybe someone has just become comfortable with the connection. Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. King of Cups and the Three of Cups. Let me tell you something, Leo. This person is willing to be put in third-party energies. They're willing to be in an open relationship. They'll take anything. Just don't leave me. I will settle for anything that you bring to the table. Just don't leave. You want to be with other people? Fine. We can have an open relationship. Just don't leave me. This person's willing to deal with, you know, uh, anything. Anything. You, you can treat them any way you want to treat them. Just as long as you don't leave them. That's the mind frame that this person's in. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles with the Judgment card. Tell me about this Judgment card. And the Wheel of Fortune. <sighs> Leo, you know what the problem is on the person on this side? They don't want you to make a decision to choose somebody over them with the Knight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune and the Devil. That's what it is. And the Ace of Pentacles. They're jealous. See, and Temperance and the Ten of Cups. And the lover's card. Here, here's the problem. I'm going to keep it real with you. This person isn't even in love anymore either. They're not. They know that the connection died a long time ago. They're jealous of the thought 
of the person on this side going and being happier with a third party. That's the problem. They're jealous of the idea that someone else can make them make you happy. They're jealous of the idea that you may meet somebody that gives you the love that you deserve and that you will be with them forever and ever and go right off into the sunset on a unicorn. That that's that they can't handle that thought. So they would rather hold on to you, be in this miserable connection that they themselves are not even happy in just as long as you don't go off and have stability and a, and a full-blown relationship somewhere else that you're happy in and that someone else is happy in. that they're, they're okay with that. Just as long as you don't leave and go be happy with someone else. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles with the Sun card in the reverse. You see what I'm saying? The Sun card in the reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. This is a very slow-moving energy. They would rather be unhappy forever than let you go. The Justice card and the Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups. And they're going to tell you, well, fair is fair. Listen, our relationship isn't good, so you can go ahead, even though it's going to rip my heart out and it'll hurt or whatever, but you can go ahead and go sleep with whoever you want. But with the Strength card here, uh, you know, you have to hold back. You can't go all in with these other people because you have to come home to me at the end of the day. So, you know, Vir uh, why do I keep saying Virgo? <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying Virgo. Um, Leo, you don't want that, though. You don't want that, though. Maybe you don't want an open relationship. Maybe you don't, you don't, you know, you want to be able to date someone. And if you fall in love with that person, have a normal long term relationship with somebody. But what this person is saying is, you know, yeah, go out, cheat, go have sex or whatever. But with that strength card, you got to hold yourself back. You can't go right off into the sunset on a unicorn with somebody because you got to come home to me at the end of the day. And even though that doesn't make me happy, I'm fine with it just as long as, you know, you don't release me. That's the energy that this person is in, Leo. Okay? Just as long as you don't release me, just as long as you don't let me go, I am absolutely fine with it. See, strength card, the star card and the ace of wands. If you want to go out and you see something that you want to go have sex with, that's fine. But you got to come home to me. Four of wands. You got to come home to me at the end of the day. What do we see happening here? The Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess. With the Eight of Swords. Leo, this person may present an argument that's hard for you to get out of. They may present an argument that's hard for you to get out of. Um, Page of Swords and the Fool. You're not going to know what to do. You're not going to know what to do. The Chariot, you know what you want to do, but with the Seven of Wands, this person's blocking your way. This person's blocking your way. You want to win this argument, but you know what I'm saying? You want to win this argument, but I, I feel like you're secretly just feeling trapped because no matter what you say, um, it, it's like you're trying to break up with somebody that just doesn't want to let you go. I mean, I don't, I don't see an actual ending here. I don't see you winning the argument because you just don't know what to say. It's like, um... It's like it's this person's just not accepting it. They're not they're not listening to what you have to say. They're just not accepting it. I feel like with that nine of swords and that five of pentacles energy, Leo, if you're going to try to sit down and talk to this person and come to some type of agreement, it's not going to work. In order for you to leave this person, like you would have to like pack your shit and just go or just completely abandon ship. This is not someone that you're going to come to like an, a mutual agreement with of like, okay, let's, you know, we're going to split up and everything. It's not going to happen. Like this is somebody that you're going to have to take one 
one little, you know, uh, grocery bag at a time and pack your shit and bring it somewhere else. This is not, or maybe like leave when they're at work or when they're out doing something. Like, you know, this is like escaping prison. This is, uh, this is literally escaping prison. You know, the big escape plan. <sighs> All right, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about Leo and all 12 signs. Leo and all 12 signs. Leo, there's a whole show about that. Uh, th what is that show? It was a big show about escaping prison where the guy had the map of the prison on his body. <laughs> like, this is just you trying to, you know, this person's in denial. They're just not wanting to understand that you don't want this anymore. Spirit, tell me about Leo in love, please. All 12 signs. Leo and all 12 signs in love. Aries to Pisces. If we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the devil, we have the five of swords, we've got the page of wands, and we've got the hermit. You know, Leo, you could be dealing with an Aries here because this is pretty much what I just said. Somebody thinking on, on how to communicate to somebody that's extremely toxic. This person's scared. If you're dealing with an Aries, you're actually scared because with the devil and the five of swords, this person could do something like mess up your car or like this person could get toxic real quick, like do some off the chain crazy shit. If we're dealing with a Taurus, the Knight of Cups, the Empress, and the Three of Wands, this is someone that sees a future. They see marriage. They see kids. This is somebody that wants forever with you. If we're dealing with a Gemini, the Tower, the Death card, and the Knight of Swords, this is a really bad fight breaking out. This is maybe cops being called. Um, this could... Uh, did I say Taurus? This is Gemini. Did I say Gemini? Leo dealing with a Gemini. This is a bad fight breaking out. This is cops being called, possibly. This is the end of something. This is the end of something. And I feel like it's going to happen quite literally out of nowhere and for the stupidest reason, Leo. Okay. If we're dealing with a cancer, six of pentacles, the five of pentacles, and the six of swords. Leo, if we're dealing with a cancer... This is an energy, okay, so Leo, if you're dealing with a Cancer, you could be dealing with two people and one person is being left to pursue the other person. So if this is a third party situation, somebody is cutting off one third party to move towards the other person. See the world card, um, especially if there's distance here, Leo. So if you're dealing with a Cancer and one part, I, I feel like uh, somebody is leaving one house and moving into another house. If we're dealing with another Leo, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, we've got the Magician, and we've got the King of Wands. You're going to... This is... Uh a blessing. This is a dream. If the Leo, if you're with another Leo, this is a dream come true. This is your biggest blessing. Everything that you've been manifesting and wishing for is in this person. If we're dealing with a Virgo, Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Lover's Card. Okay, so Leo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this is someone that's flirting with somebody on the side. Okay. This person is, there's a lot of communication with someone possibly younger on the side. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the Four of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Um, there's quiet here. Leo, if you're dealing with a Libra, there's a lot of quiet here because someone doesn't know if they want commitment here or not. Okay, yes, yeah, see, Nine of Wands. This is someone that doesn't know if they want commitment here or not. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Leo, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, someone here is no longer interested in investing in the connection. They just really don't want to. They don't see it going anywhere. They're tired of paying for things. They're tired of, they're just tired of putting their time and energy into something. Logically, it doesn't make sense anymore. If we're dealing with a Sag, we've got the Three of Cups, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the Ace of Cups. Damn. Leo, if you're dealing with a Sag, you are falling in love. This person's a lot of fun. You may meet them at a party. You may, you know, start really dating. This is all emotional. You're falling in love with the Sag. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, we've got the Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So Leo, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you may <clears throat> end up sleeping with your ex and it turns into something more committed. Or <clears throat> Leo, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this person could have an ex-wife, uh, ex-husband, baby mama, baby daddy, or whatever. These two are still sleeping together.
if we're dealing with an Aquarius, Nine of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Um, Leo, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this person is suffering. They're pretending like everything's okay, but they see you doing better than them, and they're suffering. If we're dealing with a Pisces, Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Swords, and the Hierophant. Um, Leo, if you're dealing with a Pisces, this is somebody that um, may start talking to you about marriage, on what you want for the future, where is this going, so decisions might need to be made here, okay? All right, guys, I love you all so very much, and I will see you soon. Take care, my loves.